This is the situation right here. My abs are so ripped up, it's called the situation. A Guido is a good looking, smooth, well dressed Italian. Looks good. <laughs> I check out the mirror and like, whoo, today's gonna be a good day. Girls love Guidos. I'm, I'm not even joking. I know girls that just go for that. I mean, you can hate on me all you want to, but what can you possibly say to somebody that looks like Rambo pretty much with his shirt off? We usually work out at least five days a week. If I walked in the door and seen myself, I'd probably grab my girl real quick. Oh, we're driving, making our way to the Jersey Shore house. Hopefully the house is filled with some, some very good looking girls. I'm very anxious to get down there with, with my hot clothes and my tan, just arrive. Because once I arrive, it's just like, what's up, I'm here. And everybody's going to be like, oh, shoot, that's the situation right there. Yes, sir, it is. Pull it right here. Check it out. Uh, all right. Home sweet home. Oh, Scarface. When I opened the door, it's actually pretty cool. Pretty nicely decorated. You know, it had a number of rooms, a number of levels in the shore house. I was like, you know what, this definitely could be cool for the summer. I guess I got first dibs right now. I was first in the house and was able to decide where I wanted to stay. Yeah. And then wait for, you know, the other roommates to see if anybody else were jerk offs, to see if there were any, like, hot girls, possibly. I was actually really excited to go into work with Mike. Right, give them what they want. We five good off each other. I'm comfortable with Mike. What's going on? How you so, doing? Good. Ready to work tonight? Should Ready. I stand out in front for you real quick? Oh. Bring some customers no. in? Oh, yeah, you're gonna. You're the, what was your nickname? It's a situation. I can sell t-shirts standing still. Matter of fact, I just sold one just right now. Um, let's pick some out, girls. What are we gonna get on here? I really, I really like like the situation. Like I love the situation. I mean, I didn't really show you guys, you know, what's going on here, but that is that's the situation. Like he was working it, you know, he had the abs and everything. Any girl that came into the shop, you need booty shorts with I love the situation. There it is. Look, 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 look. Come on, man. Do you guys have boyfriends or anything like that? No. No. I mean, we can get anything on it. Maybe like I love the situation or. Here. You like the situation right now, me too. Well, you have to show her. All right, all right. Yeah, everybody loves me. Babies, dogs, you know, hot girls, cougars. So are we gonna get something from moms? Does moms need anything? Moms might like the situation too. I don't know. You never know. I just have unbelievable mass appeal. I need to trademark this. I need to trademark. Is, is it trademark? He was cute. Like he like sold a lot of like shorts. He did really good. Nice. I love this situation. Yes, I like that. Stay. I like that. You guys are beautiful. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. You. So did you realize that we good together? Did you realize that? You know, just working and whatnot? What do you mean? So we good together, you know? We've always been good together. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get you one of those pairs for yourself. You can wear them in the house. What? I love the situation. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Jim, Jim Tan and Laundry. You're welcome to come with us. Jim Tan and Laundry? No. You drive me, driver. Let's go. These kids are robots, Jim, Tanny, Laundry. Every day since I got here, that's what they do every morning. Jim, Tanny, Laundry, you know, that's how they like make the guidos. You know, I like to look very fresh and mint when I go out, so, you know, everything goes into it. You know, you gotta go to the gym the whole week, you know? You have to have a little color if you didn't go to the beach. And then the last thing that you need to take care of is the outfit, okay? Now, if the outfit is not looking good, then the whole package is off. And if you feel off, you're not gonna have a good night. So how do you get the best results? GTL, baby. Gym tan laundry. Because if everything's put together and you feel great, you look great, awesome night. I don't follow those rules at all. It's especially gym tanning laundry. I could see if it was like basketball, pool, beach, like you know what I mean? Like gym tanning laundry, like, those aren't fun things at all. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Yo, how do I taste, bro? I swallow my mouth. Yo, how does my Taste, bro. I committed the robbery. Yeah, you committed the robbery? I committed the bro, robbery. Bro, I got her and I passed her over to you. The robbery was committed. You're a little you? upset right now. Whoa. Oh, oh, what do you do? All of a sudden, Jenny starts coming at me. Throwing out the wig, throwing out the fake nails. Coming at you hard. I'm just like, damn. Yo, chill the out. I got it, I got it, I got it. Why are you doing that? Get off me. Are you, gonna, are you gonna punch me in the face? He kicked me out of the club. Right, so I kicked you out of the club. Punch me in the face. Oh, oh 
see what I'm saying? Oh. Good night. Pa! And like, connected to this kid's cheek. Oh! oh. See what I'm saying? Oh. The power that was behind it, it was some video game. It was nuts. Right? That ain't bro, right. she's a girl, bro. Yo, go, go to sleep, you Jenny, Jenny get to you? Jenny, don't. Jenny, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jenny, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jenny, 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 it couldn't have been more perfect. If it was like Paul or Ronnie, I'd be like a different story, you know? But it's Mike. Hey, you all right in there? Constantly running his mouth, talking blah, blah, blah. Horrible. Stop. Just let it alone. Hey, that's wrong. Come on. Ooh. Take this left, sweetheart. Yo, Vinny, let's take this party outside, right? Yeah, come on. My best friend. I got to get you a bathing suit. You coming in? Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. In like Miami now, they go to the all the time. Hey. I know. That's why I came here. So I can take my top off. You feel me? That's your <laughs> at, at one particular point, I remember I was in the jacuzzi and I finally put some water on my face. I was like, oh, like we got grenades, man. And I'm looking at Paulie like, do you know we're in, in mist of grenades right now? Do you know we're we're in the, we're at the zoo? We smiling and they had no clue. He just ate whatever happened to him. He was like hypnotized. One of the hyenas hypnotized him. He didn't see the you know up close what was going on. I'm like hot and bothered. So we're just chilling and. All of a sudden, we see something floating around in the hot tub. What's this? Let's do it out. What the f is that? <laughs> what the f is that? What is this, dog? <laughs> it was like some sort of rubbery, uh, some, it was like a, a rubbery, I don't know what the it was. What is, is that? Is that a fish? Is that a fish? The pool? Apparently, one of their fake boobs fell out of some girl's bra. So all the guys saw playing catch with this girl's fake boob. <laughs> Who's this? I don't know. Is this yours? I heard you say. <laughs> I never seen that before. It looks like a, a chicken cutlet. Yo, put that on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as we saw that, we had to get them out of there because this is a grenade-free zone. Wake the up. Tell my girlfriend like, I have girls on the way if I want to. What are you talking? Wait, bro, get the up, bro. What are you You're talking about? We talking about me hot my back when it comes to sand. Take your and the out, bro. Ron, Ron, I don't get involved in your relationship, Ron. I don't get involved Stop. in your relationship. Yo, I don't get, I don't get involved in your relationship. Yo, yo I don't get involved in your relationship is serious. I'm anyway all the time. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. Stop, stop right there. Sick of it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you want to hit me? You want to hit me? You want to hit me? You want to hit me, tough guy? You want to do it? You want to throw my bed? Yeah, you want to throw my bed? You want to do it? Stop. Stop. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. We need to talk. Get emotional. Don't get the away from me. Yo, look at me. You OK? You all right? Look at me. I'm not even playing. Just look at me. Mike bashed his head into the wall. And I could tell Mike is completely disoriented. He's opening his eyes to me, but he's giving me a blank look. This isn't funny anymore. You OK? Get the out of What did I do to you? What, what did I do? Why don't you just tell me? What the I do. You didn't tell me that. He told you that I was gonna bring home five girls the first night. Anybody they were there. Now here's the thing, man. Now he's laying on the floor. Admit it. Admit your Admit it. Admit it. Admit it. Admit it. I don't do nothing with your relationship, tough guy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mike, are you okay?
I felt like I caused the problem. Like, I'm not a fan of you, Mike, but, you know, I just felt bad. Like, I don't want to see your roommate go to the hospital. I apologize for everything. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You sure you're okay? Mm -hmm. I didn't really even listen to her apology too much because it is Sam's fault. We fought, and I just went through a wall. I can't hear that. I have a big heart, you know? And if somebody else was hurt in the house, like me, I would be checking on them. But nobody was really checking on me really that much, you know what I mean? So I, I kind of felt alienated a little bit. I'm definitely feeling alone. Definitely feeling alone right now. You have a neck brace on? You all right? When I see Mike and his neck brace, I feel like he's doing an insurance claim right now. It was a, a mild concussion from the headbutt to the wall. Yeah, yeah, sure. And that was written some, you know, from when I hit my head, you know, my, I hurt my, yeah, like my neck, so oh, I hurt yeah, my yeah. neck, too. That's good, it's not major. We see Mike in a neck brace. I'm like, oh my God, he's got his glasses on, like always, and a neck brace. You don't wear sunglasses with a neck brace. He looks ridiculous. I said I'll be out for like a week. I didn't realize that wall was so hard. <laughs> I try to be the peacemaker in this house. Even though me and him could fight at any instant, still respect the kid. What the? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, because <laughs> the, the only reason I did that was because I had gotten into a fight like maybe like two years ago, and this dude was like double your size, and I was like, I'm not proud. I was like, I might as well get the pain out the way now. So I put my head through a sheetrock wall, and the kid was like, holy shit, this kid's crazy. But I didn't know that shit was cement. That shit doesn't even have a dent on it. I, I knew I might have had a problem with you. I was like, I was like, all right, let's do this. What? It didn't even make sense. Like, I don't think I would have put you in the hospital. The, the wall put you in the hospital. <laughs> so, I mean, it is kind of funny now. I don't get that. I'm laughing in there. Oh, my mic. Yeah, my mic. They resolved it. I've been trying to stay out of the relationship with you and your girl at, at like 3,000%. And I, and by any means, I didn't, definitely didn't mean to, to, to upset you like that. If, uh, if I was having to fight like that, and me banging my head, because I had to happen. You know what I mean? Exactly. Time to eat! What are we rocking with today, bro? Uh, chicken with tomatoes, plain chicken. Wow. This is, uh, steak. Did you bring the food with you? Mm hmm I went shopping and everything. I even got pickles and shit too. No. Really? For real, I shopped before I even got, I was the first one here. I went, I went shopping. You were? <laughs> what? I don't know, I just want to say that um, this year, this year's definitely had some ups and downs and uh, We just got here. <laughs> no, I'm talking about last year, y'all. I'm saying this year's year, bro. I'm saying last year, No, let Mike talk. Yo, Ronnie, you're so smart. Let Mike talk. He's, he did this whole thing. Yes. All right, listen. All right, how about this? I love y'all. Let's eat, OK? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mike put together a feast for everybody. This is a classic situation dinner that I remember having the first summer. It's good to see everybody, and um, good to see Mike changed. I quit. I quit the hard. <laughs> I run four miles a day. Like I, you know, I'm the most healthiest I've ever been. Can I ask what made you stop? Um, no, I was just exhausted. I was so tired and just needed to just want to go to sleep. You know, I was like, wow, if I if I can't do this now. 
You know what I'm saying? What's It's like you know you want to get up and piss after yeah, a while. I put my it's hands like... up. I was like, man, I can't do this no more, you know? So then that was it. I had to fix the problem. I went away for 34 days. Cheers to that. Good job, bro. Congratulations. Talu. You want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> shots, shots! This is the perfect way to start off the summer. Like, it feels good to be back. Best baby show I've ever been to. Nicole won't even look me in the eye right now. And it's only a matter of time where, you know, I'm gonna have to man up and face uh, this thing between me and her. Thank you, guys. Okay. I loved it. I'm sure a couple of weeks we'll make up and we'll be friends and we'll Actually, be Actually, no, because I want you to go die and ride a hole. This morning, I just woke up and I realized it's time for me to man up and have the talk with Nicole and see what happens. Wish me luck. Where are you going? I'm going to apologize to Snicks. You're going to apologize to Nicole finally? Yeah. Good luck. Uh, oh, God, thanks. <laughs> Uh-oh. I can only imagine what's going to happen. He's going to go apologize to Nicole. I guess that's, it's part of the 12 steps. You know, I really want to salvage our friendship, and I'm going to just see, you know, how she takes it right now. Hey, I was wondering if you had a minute, I could maybe sit down and say, say hello. Do you want to sit down? I decided to let Mike in just because I definitely have been waiting for Mike to talk to me. So I just want to hear this kid out. It definitely upsets me that we don't sit and talk or have a friendship at all. And um, I just wanted to come over and tell you that um, I'm sorry the way that things went down. I'm sorry that maybe I ruined our relationship. You know, I cared for you, you know what I'm saying? I'm a different person and I definitely wanted to come and look you in the eye and tell you that I'm sorry, you know? It's really hard to forget everything happened last summer. Why the f would you tell you to call Gianni? F you. F you. The you know, you completely were talking behind my back and, you know, it basically just embarrassed me and Gianni as a couple. I didn't do anything to you, Snooks. Really? You just told my boyfriend we hooked up a month before Italy. I told you not to say anything. I'm obviously hurt because you did that to me as a friend, but I'm also hurt because you totally made a fool out of him. I just don't understand why you would do that to me. Maybe I was protective, you know, almost like a sister. You know, when you're not happy with somebody who they're with, you're just like, you know, no, I apologize. And it's just awkward, if you know what I mean. Just everything that happened. You scared of milk, Papa? I never cheated. Cheat on him. I never cheated on him, you moron. You know, we were really tight. You were the only girl that I've ever, ever had as a, as a friend. And that's that's the truth. And you were the best friend I've had, to be honest. Mike! Oh. There's so many people out there in the world that's going to like you for you. This is getting wild right now. Right? It's getting wild. In my opinion, you were just wild like me. Oh, we're the same person. Yeah. We got each other. Mm -hmm. And that's why we were so close. But you just don't do that to someone who you're really good friends with. <laughs> I'm willing to, you know, fix whatever needs to be fixed, you know? Because you definitely are an important person in my life, and I would hate to, to lose you. That would suck. You kind of did. I know I did. I f up, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm really shocked at how genuine, like, Mike's feelings are right now, but there's so much damage. It's hard to forget what you did to me, but I was really waiting for you to have this conversation with me for a while. Uh, but whatever, I'm, I'm over it. Like, you know, I have so much other things going on right now. Having a baby in two months. I it know. I think, I think you look beautiful. Thank you. You do. You Do you kind of accept my apology? Kind of. I accept it. I'm gonna try, but like I said, it's really hard. 
I understand. I, I appreciate you just sitting down with me, you know? This is cool for me, you know? I'm happy for you. And I hope to be there for you if you ever need me. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Can I give you like a half hug or something? Or a kiss on the cheek or a high five or something? Let's start with a high five. You awkward man, you. A high five's not bad if you haven't even had a conversation over a whole year, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna miss cooking for you guys from time to time, but you know what I mean? Especially, especially this summer, you know what I'm saying? Today's breakfast is definitely very sentimental for all of us. We've been through so many good times and bad times that, like, <laughs> that uh, nobody will ever understand. You guys are the best friends I've ever this had. This is the biggest dysfunctional family I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's definitely not hitting me that this is like our last breakfast ever at this table or even sitting together at this table, being in this house together. It's just crazy. And to think it's all over, wah. Sad as this is, we gotta go pack. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. You know, there's so many things that have gone in the house, you know, so many highs and lows, but you look at it as like, you know what? That was one chapter in your life, and now you're about to open up another. Love you guys. Love you all. Yes, we've been through it all. Guys. No, we've been through more than it all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Ups, downs, low, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that house, yeah. Look at that I hate goodbyes. <laughs> oh, Nicole, don't. Yo, my <laughs> eyes itchy right now, yo. Oh. <laughs> Mike, are you crying? No. No, it's sweaty. It's sweaty. It's sweaty. He has a heart. Holy. It's changed all our lives. Yep. Yeah. Our lives will never be the same again because of this thing. Peace out, peace out. All right, I'm out. Bye. 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 Love Yo, you. Thanks. I'm taking these shots, I'm taking these shots every night getting faded. Feel like I feel like we made it. I feel like we made it. I feel like we made it. It's freezing out there, babe. Hi, baby. You look beautiful. Thank you. Lauren is my beautiful girlfriend. We were college sweethearts. She's my rock. She stayed by me through thick and thin. The plan is I'm going to go down and see my roommates. And then I'm going to try to get you down there. Okay. In the court situation, I'm going to count on you to communicate with me if the lawyer needs anything. I'm going through a serious court case, United States versus. And they even have the nickname, the situation on the paperwork. So crazy. I've battled Ronnie. I've been punched in the face by JWoww. I've took on a concrete wall in Italy. But now, the United States versus the situation. That is an adversary, man that you just don't want to see. I'm going to have to call my lawyer right now, honey. OK. I do have court in the next couple months. There is um, some fear in there. My freedom is jeopardized. Yeah, uh, I just want to let you guys know some of the details of my trip. And there's nothing that I need more than to Ooh. see my roommates and have this vacation. All right. Um, I'm not going to be able to go to Miami right now. You're the only one that knows okay. um, that you're not coming. That I'm not coming. No, oh. I can't. Court situation. To say I'm disappointed right now is an understatement. I was ready to go. Happy to see my roommates. Bags packed. Phone call from my lawyer. Everything stopped. You know, there is a possibility that I cannot come. And that's why I have to pretty much um, own up to my past mistakes and try to put this behind me. So there's a chance that you could do time or not do time, right? Yeah. Mike can possibly go to jail while we're in Miami. Damn, like, I didn't know, like, it was that real. I'm hoping and praying that I can go. Um, I'm already packed, um, but there's a possibility. Like I said, I'm going to call you guys and be like, yo, I can't go. Where's Mike? Where's Mike? Um. 
Michael Sorrentino, also known as the Situation of Jersey Shore, is in court today, where he'll be entering his plea on charges of tax evasion. I have some news for you guys. What? So he has like a big oh. his like plea deal, like oh for whatever when? is going on with him, like now. Depending on how this goes, he might not be able to come here at all. Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Cool, do you have good handwriting? Yeah. I want to make a sign that says Mike for the airport. I want to hold it. Yeah, I can do it. All right, perfect. You want me to do situation? Write it big, Mike? though. Say so Mike Cavs in here. She put a heart on the eye. I saw situation. T I O N. I'm horrible at spelling. Perfect. So Mike is coming back, and it's only right that his two best boys pick him up to complete the MVP. And to rescue our boy. I feel like I'm like yes, breaking sir. him out of jail. <laughs> I know. Even that's a little too close to home, that saying for him. But... Yeah, I'm like hiding him out. Exactly. Miami. MVP, P being the best, P being the best. Kind of kicked him out of MVP for a little while, but he's welcome back now because he's nice. He's so nice. <laughs> yep. Mike, going to a house that doesn't have power. I'm really looking forward to seeing Mike, but I don't know how he's going to be with all this court news. That's the biggest burden anybody could ever have is jail time. Just the fact that you don't know if you're going to go away or not, that's a lot to deal with. Hey, brother, there's an endless road to rediscover. I'm holding it high. I mean, out of everybody in this house, I think Mike needs this vacation more than anybody. I think I see him. Is that I see them. What up, what up, what up? It's to see you guys. Here. I didn't expect to see you here, bro. What's up, kid? What's up, family? How you doing? I did not know Paulie and Vinny were meeting me at the airport. I feel like Rocky right now. I feel victorious. M D V. I got an MVP reunion. Let the fist pumping begin. They're pulling into the driveway. All right, it's happening. Oh my God, it's All right, we're here. We're ready. It's happening. The past year, I've been wanting to propose. I've had this court situation kind of holding me back. Oh my God! Come on, this way. <laughs> and now it's here, and I'm ready. Oh. Thanks to you, honey. This is so cute. Mm -hmm. Good evening to the lovely couple. <laughs> Garçon. <laughs> Lauren is Mike's rock. She's the one that's been able to kind of turn his whole life around. This feels like we're all proposing to Lauren because we're working as such a team. So I'm nervous that it's going to go well myself. We could just proceed to follow the trail of love. <laughs> oh my nice. God, I love the pink heart balloons. Look at this. Yeah! She's coming, I see her. Oh my God. I'm going to cry, <laughs> me in the ass. Oh my God. Right this way. Garçons, how did you get out of here so quickly? I am very, very sneaky. <laughs> Come on, honeys. Come on, honeys. Oh my God, dude. I'm a little teary eyed. I just see the happiness. Like, it is such a great feeling tonight. Oh my God. Brody crying. <laughs> Step into the centers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lauren, if you'll please direct your attention at that screen, Michael has a very uh, big surprise waiting for you. Yes. <laughs> I never felt quite in the room. Oh, my God. A new costume. I need Sorry. a woman's help. I was in Florida. <laughs> With my heavy love. Lauren is the light at the end of my tunnel. Lauren is everything. Lauren is my best friend. She is my soulmate. She is my better half. And knowing that I found that, I'm willing to face anything in life. Oh my God! I'm so emotional, I can't. Oh my God, I wouldn't die. Guys, I always cry at proposals. <laughs> Come here, honey. 
You're my best friend, my college sweetheart, my better half. Oh, come on, look at them. You make me a better person. Please make me the happiest man on earth. Will you please marry me? Oh my God, dude, he's doing it. We've been through so much, and for us to finally get engaged, um, it's really special because it wasn't guaranteed. Take your shoes off. We still have more surprises for you in store. It's been very stormy for a while. The odds were against me. People bet against me. But against all odds, she's been there through all the ups and downs, the good times and the bad. For your first meal as an engaged couple, <laughs> a rainbow cookie, enjoy. My favorite! Oh, oh my god, I kill myself. Yes! Oh, oh my god, I can't. Love you. Love you. Why do you say Ron needs rehab? Oh! First of all, I'm having a kid in like six weeks. Come on, I like to drink, I like to party. I didn't make it my life. You made it your life. You let it affect your whole life. You let it destroy your life. So don't say anything, I need rehab. Ron Who needs said rehab. you needed rehab at you this did. table? You when? Did. When? You've made it a point in the house. There's a lot of history between Ron and Mike, and they've been having this blow for blow, clap back thing the whole vacation. We're a family, we're here. Let's not like leave with this bull still here. Let's air it out. All right, number Bro, two. Number two. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I just wait, wait. Yes, I get crazy when I party, but it never affected my life, bro. You made it your life. You let it affect your whole life. You let it destroy your life. So don't sit here and be like, oh, destroy my I'll life. see you. I'm like, yeah, bro, look at you. You got a tax evasion. You almost lost everything you earned. Did I'm you right. not call me yes. two weeks yes. before we came yes. in and said you yes. needed rehab? Yes. No, I said I needed help. Are you kidding me? I said me? I needed help and the baby coming my way. You said you were going to rehab when help. you leave here. I said when I leave here, I'm going to You said you were going rehab. to rehab. My rehab is different from your rehab. My rehab, rehab is rehab. Not, what are you? No, my you rehab is not bro. drinking. You put people's dirt out there. You had to bring it in the house. Mike and Ronnie's dynamic is crazy. They have this history and it's bad. It was only a matter of time before either Mike or Ronnie would lose their mind and it is happening. Your is public. Your is real news. Your is on the papers. That's why I talk about it. I don't bring your dirt in the house. I don't sweep your name Yo. in the mud. I just say what facts are. So you don't go low in this house? You, you go of course, lowest. but it's facts. I don't have a problem, bro. I'll help myself. You need you help. never helped yourself. You need help. Lauren helps you now. I take care of Jen, I take care of my kid, and her kid. Facts, end of the story, bottom line. So don't ever say, I need help. First of all, you're coming from a bad place right now. No, I'm coming yes, from a you great are. Place. Yes, you are. Facts, we bro. are all brothers and sisters. We in are this brothers, house. So that's why I can talk. And you to do this not way need to raise you. your voice like no, that. I do because I get that you you're four years sober, two and a half years yes, sober. Yes, yes, but yes. I have partied you with before you before. Have we not? We At one oh, we party before. Yes, so for you yes, to sit here and pass judgment on me on what I've done when I have full, well, maybe half control of my life when you've never had any control is being not what you've learned in. I, I agree to disagree. I, I agree to disagree. I agree to disagree. That's all. <laughs> all right, well, is dinner over? I think it's over. Yeah. What the f just happened? This is like Jedi level pot stirring by Jenny. You know, we were just about to make it out of the house and Jenny was like, no, no, no. That's family dinner in my house. Yeah. I don't think he needs rehab. I think he's living it up for the this baby. This is the thing that bothered him. He had a private conversation with you, all, like out of the shore house, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And you aired it and out. And you aired it out here. You don't do that. Shouldn't Mike know about like people confiding in people? Like, just be there for them. Don't You don't have to air their out like that. That's not okay. If you cared really that much about him, you would have pulled him aside privately. You brought it up saying, yeah, well, you Ronnie called to me. Ronnie right? told me. Because I have an opinion and I told you guys. You guys didn't go through what I went through. You didn't go to rehab, you know what I mean? I'm coming from a point of love. You know, right now you're coming at me 
I'm only trying to help, brother. I'm giving my opinion that I think that he needs to maybe get a little help. Don't judge him. I'm, what is he's what going I, through? He's going through. What do you mean? I'm I'm not judging well, anyone. Like just by telling him, like he knows what he has to do. Uh huh. Don't throw it out there like that. The way it's coming off is you're attacking him. Listen, I'm not judging. I'm concerned. I love Ron. I love every single person in this house, and I'm gonna keep it real. Do you want me to leave? Yeah. Listen, uh, I want to just sit down with you immediately because um, we should not act like that at the dinner table, You're however right. it is. Honestly, Mike, I confided in you in something personal, and you put that out there. That's not OK, bro. It's not. I apologize. And, and I apologize for the I apologize. way I reacted, but mm -hmm. my reaction was to your action. Number one, I care about you. Number I love two, you, bro. I number two, set up your proposal. Number two, I was wrong. I'm concerned about you. Yeah, bro, I have a, I'm getting drunk here, bro. Uh -huh. I have, you know what? I'm going home to a pregnant woman, a baby. Like, all right. Dick, and, like, you're, and, you, and you told me while we were in here that you are going to get your act cleaned up when you get out of here. Yes. And I went, I went low. I went low. You I'm went sorry. low, and I went lower. And that was yeah. my, I'm sorry for that. Yeah. And you know what? That's something I need to work on. Yeah. And it's with you, my friends, yeah. the woman that I'm yeah. with. When someone goes low, I yeah. need to stop going lower and because it doesn't resolve nothing. Me and Mike are always going to have a little bit of animosity, which is what it is. It's always been that way. But at the same time, I do love him. And he's definitely been like a brother to me. Come on. Listen, we said, we got this, bro. Come on. I'm, not, I'm not mad, bro. Come on. I'm not. I'm not. We got this, bro. Come All right. on. Let's go finish it the way we started. They're strong. One day we love each other. Next day we hate each other. But deep down through all the bull I really do care and love Ronnie and want to see the best for him. You know what, Mike? Next house, we're going to be roommates again. I'll call it now. I can't believe you saying that. I knew you get up early. So in an hour, I leave to do that little speaking engagement for an hour. The situation used to do club appearances, but now the situation is the inspiration. Every single month at different rehabs, I share my experience just to help the recovery community. So if you would like to come, come if you want to. Oh, I would love to. OK, because I need to get up early. And... I'll get dressed. OK, you have an hour. I, I think I'm still drunk. I'm just fine. You still have an hour. Oh, am I going to a rehab facility? Um, Hello? I just went to bed three hours ago. I'm just a little drunk. I think there's a little irony there. So nice. Long. The tequila is fully still in my system. Where are you going? I'm going to rehab. You want to come? No. <laughs> You're probably below a 0.3 right now. But I'm like, are you trying to tell me something? Just don't judge me. Is it OK if I am more intoxicated? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advertise it. Where are we going? I went to rehab at Discovery. And now I work with Discovery once a month we give away up to five scholarships to people that cannot afford treatment center or and or rehab, obviously. When I do this, not only is it one of my biggest accomplishments, but giving back, actually you're helping yourself. And I didn't even know that. So it's really so dope. There was one time where I was, you know, attempting to get sober. I had a doctor and a nurse at my house. Um, they were detoxing me. And after, to be honest, I think four or five days, I was like, I, I had the they call it where you're like it. I don't want this anymore. I want to go party. I want to feel better. I jumped in the car and um, Lauren jumped in her vehicle. I was trying to get away from her. So there was a bit of speeding going on, a little bit of a car chase. Eventually, a cop pulled up beside of me. I actually said to the cop that there's a crazy fan following me. And he just didn't entertain it. He was like, Mike, you're crazy. He went like that. But I actually said that to my girlfriend who was behind me trying to help me. And that's a, it's a good story for people to hear that because yeah. that was the, my crazy times. Hello. Yeah, I could not escape her. Yeah. She, <laughs> she, she was determined. Uh, and I turned around and went home and I went through the detox process. I love Lawrence more and more. She just stuck by his side. She would not quit on Mike. And honestly, that is so freaking wonderful. Life stems from decisions. So how can you make a good decision intoxicated? Welcome. Hello again. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi, sweetie. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thanks hey. for having us back. Hey. Thank you. I just hope that this goes smoothly and people are like, I think your friend needs to, you know, come visit us. 
I want to take you to go see our latest participant in the Giving Tree. Moral support, I'm the drunk friend. We look up to Mike so much, all these guys in here. It's, it's just been amazing seeing his transformation because he was once in here. Yes. I've walked through these doors many a times, okay? And actually stayed in this rehab facility for 60 days. We've seen him at his lowest and we've seen him where he is today, which is just phenomenal to watch. I'm very proud of myself. I didn't think that I'd ever get through it. I never thought in a million years that I would be the person that I am today. All right, I want to introduce you guys to Anthony. All right. Anthony is our latest applicant. Pleasure, Pleasure to, to meet, meet you. you. Thank you so much. God bless. Please. Thank you, this is Jay Wow. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm giving away a scholarship, which is the Given Tree program at Discovery Institute, and it's helping others that cannot pay for treatment get on the right track to a healthy, happy life. When I heard I got the opportunity to meet you, mm. it's kind of amazing because I watched your guys' show, um, oh. and watching your show like blew me away because I grew up in Seaside Heights. Oh my God. I knew all the owners to the clubs, free drinks. Mm. My ego is bigger than this building. Same. <laughs> Same. Same. Anthony's story is similar to mine. He lived by the shore, he partied by the shore, and those partying ways led to a dependency or an addiction. Just knowing the fact that you were here, you went through the facility, and now you got your life back. You know, and that knowing, there's a light at the end of the yeah, time. You know what I mean? Not knowing that, you know, you got over 30 months and your yeah. life turned around. Uh, this is what the program is all about, right, Nick? Um, we're able to help. I am so grateful to, you know, maybe be able to touch, you know, at least one life. I can tell you right um, now, you definitely touched mine. Oh, Absolutely. I'm trying not to cry. Uh, <laughs> me too. No, I'm, I'm telling you, no, right no, no, God's oh God. I mean, God, you really did. I want to personally thank you for doing this. I joke all the time, and the roommates do, that we call Mike the inspiration, but after this moment, he is the inspiration. God. Uh, grant me the serenity to, to accept, accept the things I cannot change. Anthony, I feel, is the mirror image of Mike. That gives Anthony hope as well. Thank you, Mike. Oh, of course. To see this guy thank Mike for saving his life. Literally. Like, I'm dead inside, and this, like, this was making me very emotional. And I'm so happy I was part of it. I can't thank you enough, really. This is going to change my life. Good luck. Thank you, you got so much. This. Yes. Right. Appreciate it. I actually love to give back. You know, I love to help others that are suffering from the disease of addiction. And I'm just very, very passionate about that. Well, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was fantastic. High hopes for Anthony. Yeah. Reality TV star Michael the Situation Sorrentino, who pleaded guilty to tax evasion in January is to be sentenced today in Newark. Sorrentino's attorney is seeking probation, while the government wants him to serve 14 months in prison. Pushed so many times, it's finally here. We're nervous. Imagine how he's feeling right now. Like waking up today, the last day where you don't know what's gonna happen. One decision to change your life, man. I just can't believe we're here, like it's happening. It's like bittersweet. I'm happy to get it over with, but I yeah. also I hope it's it goes good. Real deal, real life stuff. Could walk in that court come out with a sentence or come out without one. Mm -hmm. And he's like, poor Mike. Public figure, so he's all the pressure on him. They're gonna try to make an example out of him. I'm nervous for him. I just hope they're okay, like Lauren and Mike right now. I'm sure they're like, they're positive and I know that. But damn, I can just picture him getting ready, putting his suit on, trying to act all positive mm -hmm. for this. This is a tough one though, for him, poor Lauren's. I hope the judge is in a good mood. This one woman is gonna change his life. Oh. Oh. Can't 
believe it's actually here today. Today's the day. Prepare yourself. For the worst. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. I mean, if Mike gets a Judge Judy type judge, he's Just like the way we feel right now, times that by a thousand at what he's feeling. I can't. He doesn't deserve to go to prison. He doesn't fit in in prison. Ronnie does. <laughs> but not Mike. You know not to say anything press because they're going to be yelling things at you and especially if we end up having to walk yeah. it's going to be I a longer that. period of that to just I understand. Don't say anything. uh-oh is this mike my heart is racing right now but at the end of the day i need to hold my head high with grace and class uh, for myself and my family he's pulling up somewhere else guys we gotta run How you feeling, Mike? This is chaos. I'm like ready to like tear up. I know, me too. I feel like crying. This is too real right now. Stay cool, stay calm. Mike is the most positive person I've ever met. Um, but even for him, uh, we have. this is a monumental moment, a tough moment. He will truly be tested today. Oh wow. Hey. Hi, Hi. Mike. Hi, Mike. He looks so handsome. <laughs> I used to know where the bottom was, somewhere far okay. under the ocean. Thank you. I love you, bro. Love you, baby. Love you, Mike. Best of luck, OK? Good nice shot, my brother. Looking good. Thank you, guys. Looking good. Thank you, guys. Best of luck in there. Come on, honey. Good luck. Good luck. I'm like the worst right now. Oh, God. You could just see in his yeah. face. That's our brother. It's not fair. Oh, my God. I just can't imagine what they're going through. Oh, it's sad. Got three Funfettis, Doritos. Ice cream cakes, diet sodas, diet sodas, diet sodas everything, basically. Even the Keto Guido will take a bite of this stuff for Mike today. Oh, wow. oh. I want to see this. Just for him. I want to see this. I honestly don't know how Mike's feeling today. Um, part of me wants to say he's doing good, but like the human side of me is saying, how can you feel good? I feel like a good Funfetti, some chips, just some garbage <laughs> food on a day after court morning is Mike's Needed medicine. Good morning. It means the world to me that uh, my homies came by to check up on me. We got snacks. And I have the best roommates ever. Mike, you hungry? I actually am hungry. We got you food. Oh, Mike, ice cream cake? Yeah. We'll start with like one Funfetti. Oh, my Dinosaurs. God. Cookies. Oh. Powdered donuts. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys are the best. Going to be living my best life for a couple days. Let's, let's, let's all take a donut. I'm going to live my best life with him. To Mike, to Mike. living to Mike. his best living life. Living our best life. Yeah. Because you know what? I'm not gonna be able to do it with him for a while. You know what I mean? So I want to get it all in while I can. Oh my God. Yeah. Give me more. <laughs> Keto Guido. Oh my God. Calm down. I love a good diet soda. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drink a diet soda too. What? <laughs> so dramatic. I appreciate you guys coming to support me. Of course. Uh, it meant the world to me. Um, in the beginning, when I first uh, got to court and I saw you guys, and I started to hug Nicole and Idina. I got a little emotional really yeah. quick because no, you guys looked emotional, and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, sorry. Try to, yeah. try to also be sure to you. Yes. Like, in life, there are important things, and those things are the intangibles family, love, and friendship. And I have all three. And I'm holding my head high right now. I have, a, I have a couple weeks for, to just gather myself. Did they tell and, you when uh, exactly? No, it's know. usually, it's 30 to 60 days you have to like surrender yourself. Um, so, uh, but I'm gonna see if I can surrender myself after the holidays, maybe like January, yeah. like January 15th, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But guys, at the end of the day, the most important thing is um, I got the girl. 
and uh, we have a wedding to plan. Yes. Amen. Now the court is over, it is time to concentrate on the wedding, and we have to do wedding planning, we have to do seating charts, we have to make sure that we have groomsmen gifts, and um, we got lots to do. Everyone is helping cover the stripper's entrance by playing with the chair, so Mike can't see these girls walk in, and um, we want him to be surprised. Jay Wow to the main stage. All right, Mike, well, this is your bachelor party, and we're the best men, so here's the entertainment for tonight. Mike. We got a surprise for you. Yeah, buddy. There's a party right now. We got a Uh-oh. We got a situation. Happy oh. birthday, buddy, man. This is the best day of my life. Oh, my God. You cheated. Oh, oh damn. Oh, hell no. Lawrence would not like this. Oh, my God. Mike this nervous around strippers. Oh my God! <laughs> he definitely looks petrified. <laughs> this isn't us. We didn't do that. Strippers look amazing, but they're literally twerking their vaginas in Mike's face. Oh my God! We're gonna ruin this kid's life right now. Live your best life. Live your best life. Clap it! Help! Save me! We didn't. Oh my God, Lawrence is gonna kill me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's like gonna walk in any second. Nah, nah, you're safe. I will not dishonor my queen. Oh, oh. Got real hot. oh you look scared, Mike. At this particular point, I've had enough. Don't look. I gotta pull the eject button and I gotta get out. <laughs> Woo. That was lit. Give it a second, Mike. Just wait. She's so hot, it's not even funny. You can take the blindfolds off on three. One, sit on his lap, sit on his lap. Two, three! Tonight's been a roller coaster of emotions. You happy? But this is the best surprise ever. I miss you. I know I'm cool. I'm not crying, you're crying. I always cry at battle party. <laughs> when Lawrence is around, I feel like the universe is whole again. You are then, sweating. Yeah, because I just have anxiety. <laughs> oh my god, success. Successful dude ranch. Oh. How do you see him too? I wouldn't be the man that I am today without Lawrence. It's the happiest day of my life. Oh, so don't forget to breathe, cause there's only you and me, if you just hold on. You feel like this like tingly, kind of like emotional feeling as soon as that door opens and the bride starts walking down the aisle. Everyone is in their feelings right now. I actually can't even believe that I made it. I can't believe that I made it to this day right now. And I'm trying to hold it together right now. I really am. <laughs> you look fire. You look fire. You look fire. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Lauren and Michael, I would like to extend a warm autumn welcome to this special gathering of love and friendship. We come together in the spirit of God's loving peace and grace as we bear witness to their marriage. There are some weddings that you go to where you might look at the bride and groom and be like, oh man, this is a mistake, but this wedding just feels right. We can't picture Mike and Lauren not together. Together, they are living their best life as they <laughs> teach each other. I feel like Mike always had love in his heart. Thank you, Mike. Mike, I'm up. Who's going to be the bad guy? Situation, no problem. But just being around Lauren, I feel like Lauren definitely changed Mike to the person that he is today. So uh, they're just like, they're literally a fairy tale love story. I can't. So Michael, I ask you, will you take this woman to be your wife? 
that you may live together and grow faithfully in the bond of marriage. You promise to love and honor her, comfort her, and be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. I do. Good answer. You walked into the room and all up in the fields. Um, it was uh, it was many nights I wanted to quit, man. You know what I mean? But I didn't. So. So Michael, if you could repeat after me, I Michael take you Lauren to be my wife. I Michael take you Lauren to be my wife. Me standing here is uh, very special because, you know, um, I shouldn't be here today. You know what I mean? I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Lauren, take you, Michael, to be my husband. And uh, I'm here because of my beautiful bride, and it's a miracle. Lauren, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. Wait, is he in rings? I think it too. Oh, Mike and Lauren, just, they're beautiful. They're gonna last forever. You can just tell the love that they have and you can feel it in the room. This is perfection. Before God, family, and friends, it is with great pleasure and privilege that I pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, and I kiss you. Yeah. I feel like Rocky when he got to the top of the stairs up in Philly. That's how I feel right now. I've been through some awesome moments in my life. I really have. But this right here takes the cake. We all know BDS loves his cakes. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Lauren Sorrentino. Shores Michael Sorrentino is reporting to prison today. He'll begin serving an eight-month sentence after pleading guilty to tax evasion late last year. Here it comes, here it comes, the big black escalates coming out. Making a special video right now. <sighs> the situation will reveal itself in 2019. Oh my God, babe. Yeah? Mike's going live, going to jail right now. What? <laughs> what do you mean live? Like Lauren's videoing him and they're in the car and he's on his way to jail right now. Oh my God, Chris. What? Mike just went live. Yeah, people are just joining right now. Damn. Last moments before he goes to prison. This is not right. Just gonna handle this and uh, put this behind me. Forward. What a sin. Oh, he looks so nervous. I can't. Poor thing. I really, really hate to see you on your own. You know. All the messages people are sent. <laughs> oh my god, he looks sad. Yo. He does not look happy. <gasps> he he looks like scared as of course. I can't even believe he's really going to jail. Like this is real life. He's gonna I don't be I don't think I'd be doing this well if I was on my way to leave you. They are like amazing. Yeah. 
prisoners are right there, just chilling. Yeah. Like, I could put some in here. Like, I could bust Mike out right now. Yeah, that one guy can just hop in my car. Yeah. I'm happy that he's doing good. He, he said it was like military camp. Yes. I mean, you know, I never thought that I'd be seeing Mike in a green prison jumpsuit. Yeah. So it did become real once you saw it. Yes. But, you know, I'm glad he's doing well. But he was so calm, so relaxed. Somebody does his laundry in there. And he gets a haircut twice a week. Yep. He works out every day for two hours. Mm -hmm. Eats what he wants. It seemed like the only thing that he didn't, like he wants is going home to Lauren. Yep. And to being home, that's it. Like nothing else is really bothering him. Nope. Being away has to be hard. Locked up or not, Mike has always had a positive attitude. I hope he keeps it that way. And I'm happy for him and I'm proud that he's gonna put this journey behind him. What, it's what a, oh, their own little world in it, huh? That's it. It's still prison. Damn, like now we're back in the real world and he has to stay up there. I know, that the saddest part for me was him not being able to just yeah. walk out with us. Yeah. So when we get there, they're gonna probably look in the car and tell you to put all the cameras down. Okay. How many times have you made the trip? I went every week. Oh, every week, it wasn't, oh wow. Longest 10 minutes. Yeah, I know. I, I, was, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, like, why are we not getting any closer? <laughs> this is probably like the first time I'm excited. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so now it's real? Yeah. I've been dreaming about this day for over eight months. And walking out of prison, I definitely feel like Rocky right now. <laughs> Head held high and hand and finger to the sky. I'm proud. Reality TV star Michael the Situation Sorrentino is to be sentenced today in Newark. Jersey Shore star Mike the Situation Sorrentino sentenced to eight months in prison. Oh my God. You got eight months. That's a lot. That's a long time. I need to go get my head together. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Seeing my wife right now. <laughs> Uh, for the first time as a free man. It's uh, the sweetest victory that I ever had. Good luck. <laughs> We're here. I love you. Love you more. And we gonna rise up, rise up, rise up. It feels surreal. I've been dreaming about this day for over eight months. I'm very excited to get back to our old ways you know, go on vacations together, have new experiences together. I feel like this is like a new chapter. BDS is in the building! <laughs> this is the moment we've been waiting for. You know, we've been through the court with him, we've been through the trial with him, we've been through everything with him, and it's like now this day is finally here and we get to put it behind us. It feels great to have Mike back. You look so good. You look so You lost, uh, great. 35 pounds. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Like you lost 135. <laughs> I'm so excited, and you look so good. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's here. 
I, uh, I, I, I'm speechless. This is awesome to see you, man. This is crazy. Yes! Yes! I heard y'all, I heard y'all was getting a short house. So I was like, without BDS? Uh, never. Yeah. No, it's not the same. This is not the first the time we've all been together in a year. Yeah. It's actually crazy right now to see Mike standing right in front of us. Like, I never thought this day was ever going to come. He looks like a muscle yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. He thank you. so Why amazing. All right, come here. I want another hug. Oh, this is so good. We've been Missy waiting guys. for you. Thank you. Angelina just grabbed my ass. Oh. We got some things to show you.